welcome to another video it's a vlog today and i know i'm looking like a little strange with this glasses on and all that but um fresh out in the morning time i don't really like to put on my contacts i wait till i actually have to go outside and put my contacts on so today is just gonna be a day in the life vlog what i do when i wake up during quarantine so as you just seen in the previous clip i got out the bed it takes me about 30 to 40 minutes to actually get up and start doing stuff so in the midst of me laying down i didn't show that part because i didn't turn on the camera at that point but i do some devotionals i pray um and then after i pray i do another devotional um i really try to incorporate jesus in the first few hours of my day um today i do have a pretty busy schedule today is saturday um the day that you're watching this is the day that i'm recording this um so today i have to do laundry so instead usually i wake up and get out of my bed make up my bed so it's like i won't stay in the bed all day but um, i actually have to do laundry so i have stripped my entire bed um i don't remember the last time i did laundry or it took off the sheets off my bed don't judge me so i'm gonna do laundry which is all this stuff here these blankets and stuff i'm thinking i'm gonna wash my slippers as well um oops and i have all these clothes here to wash and this basket is not that much um i actually have to organize my closet a little bit figure out this stuff um and try to get it together my closet i'm gonna try to rearrange it today um yeah just get these things together because i'm not really liking how messy it's looking i don't know about y'all i don't usually have an appetite when i first wake up um but i've been trying to incorporate drinking lemon water the first thing in the morning so because lemon water is great for things like stripping body fat um, and weight loss, and that's the journey that I'm on right now. So I am going to take my pot, boil some water, and then you just squeeze some lemon in there, literally. It's like the easiest thing. And I'm gonna drink the cup of water straight. No pauses or anything like that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to start. I'm going to start with. So I eventually, so initially, y'all, I wanted to do a hair video today, but since I just did a hair video the other day, and I do want to do a hair video on Monday, because you know, guys, I'm posting on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and I, this is my third week of being consistent, and I just want to praise God because that's literally all the glory of God. And, um, I wish I knew, like I knew that before, but I wish I really focused um, on being consistent and not really on the numbers per se. And that's something that I struggled with for a while, like not feeling like my page is adequate enough to be up or have content on it because I didn't have enough subscribers or likes or followers or whatever case or whatever you want to call it. And if I'm not consistent, if I'm not trying, then I'll never reach the goal that I that desire to reach. And um, I know what God is going to do with my YouTube channel, with my social media platforms. So with that, I'm not really focused on the numbers. I'm not really focused on any of that because I know the fruit that will come with me being consistent and being obedient to God. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and then within three weeks, I went up 100, 100 subscribers. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I would have never even got that hundred if I wasn't consistent or if I paid attention to like nobody's gonna watch me because I don't have enough subscribers and just from that hundred that increase whether it's people I know or don't know that's a hundred more people that I can use my platform for to share the glory of God through my content because in everything that I post I do make sure that um, I include a scripture um, take a shower I'm gonna take a shower and then we're just gonna see. I don't know if I'm gonna make breakfast as of yet, but we'll see.
mornings actually I like to do my Bible devotionals but I sometimes do it on my phone as well this is the Bible that I have the woman's study Bible is great because they show a lot of index um, and I love how they have information on the passage that you're reading so like right here it says patient waiting providence this is in ecclesiastes um and then like in certain chapters they have a map to show like where jesus went uh speaks about the spiritual gifts of women in the bible so some spiritual gifts are prophecy serving and ministry teaching exhortation giving leading administration Mercy, wisdom, knowledge, faith, discernment, evangelism, hospitality. I'm actually going to read that a little bit later, so I'm going to bookmark that. Um, and, yeah, like, right here. It shows Jerusalem in the time of Jesus. So I really like it because it just gives you more of an insight. Because um, if you're anything like me, I like to look at visuals so I actually understand and have something in my mind to look at. Like, okay, so Jesus went there, um, but he went from here to here like that. So, yeah, guys. So that's 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 all about me. So I don't even know if that makes sense. But to be quite honest with you guys, I'm gonna open up this window so I can get some light blown in here. I low-key think that I want to do a house tour soon, or well, apartment tour, whatever you want to call it. Y'all, I also bought a scale the other day because, like I said, I need to lose weight. So. I got me a scale. I'm going to focus on doing, I have no idea why this mop is here. I haven't tried to figure out a way on where I want to put it as of yet. Um, I'm going to put all these clothes in here. Um, yeah, this is just a hot mess and I'm tired of looking at it like this. Like I'm absolutely so tired of looking at these clothes right here. So let me just like organize it a little bit. It's looking a bit more clean in here. Got all the clothes in there and whatnot. And it's extremely hot. Um, yeah, we're just gonna put that there. So for now, that's how you open up the door. So for now, I'm going to put these clothes in a plastic bag and then I'm going to take a shower and then I'm gonna reach back out with y'all. Um, I do have to go to the bank to get some cash to do laundry. Um, I gotta go to the grocery store to get a few things in my fridge that I don't have because I don't wanna keep going to the grocery store. So once I get these little few things, I'm not gonna need to go to the grocery store for a minute. So yeah, I'm gonna get that done. Then I'm gonna come back, do some laundry. I gotta go to Walgreens, get some oil and lotion, conditioner for my hair. And then I'll be good. I'm gonna show y'all how I clean out this desk here and stuff. So yeah, just stay tuned. I'm gonna bring you along. All right guys, so I just came out the shower. I had to take my bonnet off. I'm gonna like, I haven't taken my hair out of that bonnet since I did that hair video in two days. So, so I'm just gonna like, shake it out because I don't want to go outside looking like a granny, you know what I'm saying? 
Let me just like shake it out. Shake it out. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. I really love how these curls turned out, y'all. I kid you not. These are the most defined curls that I've ever had. Um, well, in a really long time, at least. These curls are so defined. And it's like easy, like you don't have to buy any hair products. That junk is crazy. So I'm just gonna shake it out. Like this will have your hair looking like you got no hair in it. And I kind of expected it because um, my hair shrinks. Wait, it looks uneven. It's Cause my hair shrinks like pretty, pretty much. But I don't think I'm gonna leave my hair out like that. I low-key want to do this, what y'all think? Mm, I don't know. I feel like that kind of look nuts. I don't know. I don't know, y'all, what I want to do to my hair today. If I want to put it all up and leave, like, a little bit of the front down. I don't know, because it's like, we're going to see. I think I'm going to just leave, put it up. That's what I'm gonna do. Lay them down, and I think I'm gonna just push my hair back, like maybe like something like that. Cause that's what it's looking like. So I'm just do my edges. And honestly, I like this curls edge control, but um, I think my hair has been agreeing with it so much that it hasn't been laying down. So I low key. I used to use the even edge control. I'm gonna put a picture right here so y'all can see. And y'all, when I tell you that edge control holds your edges down like it's nobody's business, it holds your edges down like it's nobody's business. Like for real, like for real, for real. It holds your edges down, child. And I haven't been able to find it. Maybe when this quarantine is over and, and the beauty supplies still open back up and stuff, I'll be able to check. I'm gonna have to check more these supply stores actually hair type like any hair type you could have the kinkiest of hair or the loose the most loose hair and this is still gonna hold it down so i like to do my edges in the patterns of where my baby hair is full because i like my hair to look natural like i hate to go outside and my hair look like fake which is kind of reason why i don't like wearing weave because i feel like it looks fake and i like my junk to look natural so i'm gonna get something to wrap my hair up um yeah we about to like improvise a little bit because i think this is cute i'm gonna just do this i think i should make it a little tighter though This, I don't even know if I really like that thing hanging down in the back, but let me pull it to make sure that no hair is left behind. No child left behind. It's cute. It's cute. So, um, I'm probably gonna touch up on my edges if needed but i put my clothes in the bag got my bed empty um yeah so i want to show y'all a little bit of my apartment so this is not gonna be like the official house tour or apartment tour because i still have to put some things up i still need to drill some things in i still need a mirror a few mirrors and such all right so this right here is the front door you guys right here and then when you walk in so if i'm right here it's the front door when you walk in to the right you see the living room i'm gonna put like a side table i'm gonna have a side table right here so i can leave the mail i'm gonna have a circle mirror right here um i have no idea where i'm putting these things yet i'm gonna get that together um this is my tv stand from my old house um, this is also TV head in my old bedroom. This is also, I had something in my living room in my, in my mom's house. That's a closet right there. 
I had this chair in my bedroom in my mom's house. This was one of the couches that we had in my mom's house. Almost everything here is from my mom's house. Then that book stand over there was from my mom's house, but we initially bought it because we knew that when I got my own place, I was going to keep it. So I got that book stand. Um, I have some books on there, have some cute things I'll show you. And then another side table there. And then forward, you see the fridge and there's a cabinet here. And then to the left, there's a bunch of cabinet space here. Um, then down there, here's the stove, um, sink, toaster, drawers, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, so when you keep walking, I have to get some pillows, um, fluffy pillows. I'm gonna get that together, but since the quarantine happened, I don't have the funds for that. I also have this poster. I feel like I showed it before. So it's three, three, let me show y'all a little bit of it because it's supposed to be up on this wall. This is how it looks. It's supposed to be right here, but my command strips are working, so I'm gonna have to get a drill on there. That's I think what's gonna happen. Um, and then, um, so yeah, this closet has tons of space. I'm using this closet right now as a coat closet. I think it's gonna stay like that for the summertime. I have a suitcase in there with my summer clothes. I also have a shoe bin where I put all my shoes that I wear often here, some heels there, um, a box with my office stuff. Um, I don't, I gotta organize this and put some more things up there, but this is what it's looking like right now. Um, I love that that has a storage space. I also want to put a plant here, like a palm tree plant. I don't know if I want it to be real or not. We're going to find out very soon if I want that. Um, also, this will be a flower vase, but every time I get flowers and put it there, it dies really soon. But yes, this is the bookshelf that I have here. Um, that's a plant that I got from Walmart. It started off as a baby plant, uh, but yeah. Anyways, this is a picture I have from my first agency that I love, my baptism thing, um, my baptism license or certificate. Um, and I wanted to make this wall here like an artwork of me. So I'm trying to find like an artist that can make an artwork of one of my photo shoots and it's going to go right there. Um, got some books that are up here, books that I've been reading for the past few months. Here's a picture of me, my daddy, and my brother. And then this is a picture of little me, my mom's, my sister, and my niece. Got some cards down there for my birthday. Um, and yeah, got some things there. Then, so I know you guys are looking like, um, what is this curtain thing? So this is the divider. It did not come with the apartment. So I do live in a studio apartment. It did not come with this divider thing here, but because I wanted it to make a separation of the living room to the bedroom, cause I didn't want the minute you come in, like you see my bed and all that, even though it's see-through, it still gives me a little bit of a privacy, if you know what I mean. So when you go through the curtain, you see my bed. I gotta get more of these lights to go across there. I still need a side table. This is just temporary. I'm gonna get a side table to go at the side of my bed. Um, and then, guys, the key about living in a studio apartment is to use under your bed as storage. So literally everything is underneath my bed that can't fit in closets, everything. Um, this table, which I'm using right now as my desk, is gonna be the desk that goes right here um where the mail stuff gonna go that's gonna go there and i'm gonna actually get a real office desk and put it right here i got this chair from my kitchen in my mom's house this is like a little organizer thingy that i'm probably gonna keep there um even when i get the regular desk that's the ring light um lots of light in here i don't usually put on light in the daytime because we get tons of light as you can see it's huge so moving on um, right next to the desk and all that. I'm also going to get a poster right here to cover that up. Um, a body mirror is also going to be right here. So that's right next to the curtain. A body mirror is going to go right here. And then right next to this is my closet. It's a walk-in closet. So when you come in, let's close that for a second. You see this, which is not all the way organized right now. But this is what you see. There's a window here. It's pretty much space, a lot of space in here even when the door is closed and whatnot. So yeah, there's a lot of storage in here. 
um i have tons of clothes that i really never realized it looks pretty messy right now but <laughs> yeah and even here i'm gonna be decorating it with like candles and like cute stuff right now is everything is just all over the place because i never really got the, the chance to and there's space up here i never really got the chance to decorate and organize the way i'd like to because everything that's been going on um i didn't get the opportunity so then this is the closet here then to the left you see my bathroom um i wanted the black and white theme i don't really know why they put yellow tile but whatever i um, got this black rug i also need a black um toilet thing and a toilet cover um everything like i said is not where it's going to be also i got this cute mural canva that maddie bought me for my birthday it says he restores my soul psalms 23 verse 3 um yeah got a regular medicine cabinet um got the shower door so i don't really need a shower curtain and that's that and that and that so yep you could come in uh i can always close this door if i want this door to be closed so then you just see the closet so sometimes i just close the bathroom door um but at nighttime i like to close my closet door so then it looks like nothing is here so yeah, this is my quick little apartment tour. Um, yeah, when it's furnished, I'm gonna do an official video, like my furnished apartment tour. Um, some may say it's already furnished, but to me, this is not where I would like it to be. And it's pretty messy right now. And I just want to show you guys like a little bit of what my apartment looks like. So that's that. All right, so I got the money from the bank. I have my clothes here. And like I said, remember how I told y'all that under your bed, when you live in a studio apartment, is going to be key because you can storage. That's the reason why I wanted this platform style of bed is because you can do so much with that. Like so much. So I'm going to take my basket, try to drop it in there I got my soaps so we use a laundry card in the laundry room so can't forget to get my laundry card oh, I was about to say where my laundry card at got my laundry card um, I saw this thing on TikTok last night on how they made this mask so I'm gonna kind of show y'all how to do it. More things to go in there. So what she did, let me move that over. So what she did was fold it like this. And then she took a scrunchie and put it right here. Took another scrunchie, put it right there. And then from what I remember was put it on your face and you put the scrunchie around your hair. I'm gonna try it actually. I don't know why it's not staying. I'll take a scrunchie. I'm gonna have to double it. Okay, this is gonna go loose. Y'all, this is a fail, but it's gonna work because my mom is on me about going outside with no mask on, so. So, that's besides the point. I'm going to organize this desk and give you guys a little of um you guys can see me so don't mind everything that's going around you guys know that i'm cleaning so first i'm gonna start with underneath here <laughs> 
My desk is looking like I got something on the floor. Actually, I don't know where the battery is. It fell. That sucks. I'm not gonna look for that. Um, this is what it's looking like. Nice and clean. I'm very proud of myself getting things done. All right, guys. My clothes are in the dryer. Um, I'm getting hungry now, so I'm most likely. Yeah, I'm actually about to make something to eat. Vegan patties, meatless chicken patties. I'm gonna make me one of these. Um, this is also something that I'm going to get from the supermarket. They're really good. They're really yummy. Um, I also got my hamburger bread, George Foaming Grill. This is it right here. Um, you could just like grow your patties on it. This is it. Had this since I want to say I was a child. We had these for years. Time for an upgrade. So the minute you plug it in, it automatically comes on. And you should be cleaning it. Look, me, I don't. So I just take a piece of napkin. I'm actually, I should be cleaning it because that's like dirty. So I'm going to just like wipe off. And it's oh, I don't really clean it because it's like the same thing I put on there each time. But as you can see, look, the dirt come on it. I got two left. That was fast. These are so good. I eat this so often. I'm just gonna put it on there, close it, and that's it. Are y'all finished all your quarantine snacks? Cause like, at this point, oh yeah, I got my vegan cheese as well because I can't do dairy. So this has been doing the trick. Since I can't eat dairy. I love, love, love to put onions in my burger. So I might just put an onion in there. I feel like making two, to be honest, cause I'm pretty hungry. So. I don't know if I should though, if I should just eat one and like make, cause I'm thinking of making like a big CD or something to last me for but I don't know if I want to cook that right now. Hmm. Because I also have this ground meat that I could use for the ziti, which is meatless as well. So I'm trying to think if I want to make two of these patties right now. Actually, I'm going to just eat one and then drink a shake because I'm going to actually regret making two because you know you can't eat all your quarantine snacks. Quarantine is not over. Can be eating all of it. Um, and then once, once it's finished, this grill thingy, once it's finished, you're going to stop hearing the sizzling and that's when I know that it's done. So for now, I'm going to just leave it. I'll show y'all. It's really nothing to see. Like it's, it's in there. I'll show y'all what it's like looking like right now. But let that finish. And uh, yeah, you'll see after I got my kernels. I know I'm gonna be hungry still. So I have a potato. I'm gonna take a potato, shave it up, and create like little french fry stuff, cause it's easy. But I'm gonna do like the home fry style and then save the rest. As for like seasoning their potatoes. So how I season mine, don't come for me because this is what I like to do. So I like to use garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and black pepper to season my potato. I put on the light because I don't need no light and we ain't trying to pay for no electric bill, you feel me? 
We sure not. We being cheap over here, especially because we ain't working right now. So I finished peeling my potatoes right here. Now I'm just gonna like wet it to like get it a little soft and stuff. Little circles like these and then like cutting it up to the way I want it to be. Lazy. I think I'm gonna make it like real. I only use plastic plates around here. Around here, we only use plastic plates. Put some oil on it. So it won't get stuck or whatever. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Hold on, that was probably a little bit too big. First thing, I'll put it on the grill. Got my bread back there. I'm gonna take my cayenne pepper. I'm gonna close it in a second. I'm gonna take my cayenne pepper and like, ooh, that was probably a little bit too much. Like that. Yeah, I smell it. That was a lot. Take my garlic powder and like such. Now for the black pepper, I need both hands because it's like the the syringe type of one. So one second now. Close it. And leave it over the sink. I'm gonna press it down. And then I'm gonna check on it in a few to see like the progress or whatever. Yeah, I have no idea how this is gonna come out. Like I said, I never did that. I usually put it on the stove. But I don't really wanna put it on the stove right now because then I'll have to wash that pot. And Kia doesn't wanna wash a pot. She doesn't wanna wash a pot. I actually use spinach as well instead of lettuce, so I'm about to get my spinach out. And it sounds like it's done because like the light went off and stuff, but it's not ready. There's no way that can be ready. Spinach here. Um, it's like these things go spoil. They spoil so fast, y'all. Like, zing! I think they give me no time. Seems really no way. You gotta use them up like right away. So I'm gonna try to start making a spinach smoothie or something daily because if not, it's looking like it's gonna go stale. Like I like my stuff burnt. Look at it. It's like burning a little bit. It looks like it want to catch on fire. Hold on. Try to flip it with one hand. Pretty hard. I think I have to drizzle some olive oil over them. So I'm going to do that. This is why vlogging is extra hard. Because, like, it's a lot, y'all. It's really a lot. Y'all can see it dripping off there, but it's dripping in the sink, so that's all that matters. So I just want to show y'all the finishing touch. This is my vegan chicken sandwich with sweet potato. This is a whole bunch of barbecue sauce because I love barbecue sauce. And that's really all. I think I'm going to end this quarantine vlog here. It's currently 3.11 p.m. And after I finish eat this, I'm going to take my clothes out the laundry, out the dryer. Um, I'm going to spend some more time with God watch a movie and relax um and then yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you enjoyed vlog period give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below what vlogs you'd like to see once this quarantine is over or whatever vlogs you'd like to see while i'm on quarantine and let me know what other type of videos you'd like to see i'm trying to switch it up and have my channel with a variety of things so yeah let me know your suggestions down below thank you for spending the day with me okay this Y'all got real personal. Y'all came up in my personal space, honey. So, yeah, I love you guys. And thank you for watching. Ciao.